Hi, good morning. This is a plasma system. And um, we're going to teach you something about one of our tools. Uh, VirtualBox Ready. We installed Arconix XS, so the smallest, most complete version of Linux FCE. Without any software, but I've added software thanks to Calamars. And I want to show you something. There may be people who have more than one desktop on their system. Am I one of those people? XD. No, I'm not. I just have XFCE on my system. Give me the X sessions desktop. That's XD. So it's going to list whatever is in the user share X sessions. Otherwise, I have to type it all the time. XD. So I have one thing. What if I wanted to have DWM? Control E. Okay, fine. Go to the tweak tool. Go and have a look. 22 choices. You can install them, you can't delete them, right? It comes, some of these guys come with lots and lots of packages, and it's just not possible to do um, a clean removal that um, gives no, that does not cause any problem with all the rest that's on there. So anyway, DWM is installed and maybe you want to have a look. Let's do that first. And then I'll show you the issue at hand. So log out, SDM is working fine. You go to XFCE, XFCE session down here. And I wait a little seconds there and then DWM and then fine. You are indeed on DWM. Control T, there is a super uh, shift enter and we super Q and super Q and super X and we log out again, right? So that's fine. And what if you wanted to say to the system every time, every single time, I want to boot up with DWM and not XFCE. So that's an auto login thing. I would say go to the configuration file of SDDM, which is as an alias is N S D D M. It says nano slash etc slash um, sdm.conf. So you're opening a file, the file that governs sdm, like it's there are files that govern lightm and gdm and so on. So it says here. Your session should be XFCE, user Eric. The thing is, go in here, Control T. I type XD. I see the name is DWM, and I change the sessions here. Whoops. To. Can I exit this thing? Let's do a no. Let's do it again. Don't want to see that yellow thing there. XFCE DWM. Because it says so. Without the desktop. DWM. The problem is, and that's this that's what this video is about. This is okay, right? Works great. Works like a charm. Why? We're straight on the files we need to be. It's gonna work. But we have a tool, and I've given the developer already the information and it's labeled as bug so it's going to be fixed in here we have also the possibility to name of session file for auto login session if empty try last login now i have two of them because i've installed dwm otherwise it will just be with the one now if i say it like this i use the graphical user interface and save something goes wrong and that's what this video is all about. So save and no, and then activate again. Voila, that's the problem. User share X sessions DWM desktop. SDM does not understand that. What we need to do is remove the pathway and just keep DWM. That's it. So working with this tool, this SDM configuration editor at this point in time, like I said, bug has been, um, well, 
they have been notified notified five days ago and it has been labeled bug i mean they will come around and change it if you want to see what's what's going to happen because maybe that's interesting people might have done that already in the past without my knowledge right before, before i knew this this could happen then um yeah, let's let's do a reboot eh? let's do a reboot because this would actually work um, but if you want to auto login into something that has this pathway that's when the issue arrives and this is the issue a nice black screen and sometimes i see a cursor and sometimes i don't but this is yeah frustrating if you've done it this way the sdm change for auto login for a desktop you're stuck in the black screen so control f this is virtual box normally you do control alt f1 f2 f3 f4 eh? go to tty in virtual box we do the same with the right control and then f1 f2 f3 f4 the thing is it takes a while to kick in so don't give up yet and just keep on trying to go, go to control f2 and see that you have of course i need to be in here in the virtual box so my arrow needs to be there Control f3 f4 f5 f1 f2 there we are i mean uh, it seems to work if you go for f1 first and then go back and then Control f3 for example tty3 uh, tty4 and so on so i know what the mistake is i can go fix it and SDM, but that's what is always is with Linux knowledge. So this thing is not correct. SDM says, I don't know what to do with that. Now he knows session DWM. I need to save this, of course. So Control X, yes, enter. Now you couldn't see that because it's not the full screen. So Control F. It was down there, but here it is. So session DWM, control X, and then yes, and then enter, and it's done. So I need to reboot, so the reboots, and it's going to log me automatically into, yes, of course, DWM, because that was our intent. Eric, login, session DWM, and SDM is just passed, and I'm just in. So that's, um, well, the, the bug of today and, and, and the way around it. So, but maybe as a general message, there are other things like that, that I always do like N Pacman. There are actually quite a few N things. So have a look at our aliases. If you type in them, here is N SDM, N Samba, N Pacman, N N Switch. I mean, go straight to the file that matters and change the things you want and don't go via any graphical user interfaces sometimes i do that too of course but um, in this case it gives us a bug it gives us a pathway and that is something sdm is not happy with all right enjoy your computer systems cheers